<laughs> it is so wonderful to be here with all of you today because it's so important. This is an extraordinary city and it's a wonderful, wonderful place. And all of us, our hopes and dreams are that our children can stay here, get great jobs here, raise their family here, get the best education in the world here. And that is what Mayor Gail Reekin is going to do here in Evansville. We face challenges, but there's no challenge we can't overcome with good leadership. You want to know about good leadership? Served on our city council. Served as state representative. Turned businesses around. A wonderful family person. You couldn't ask for more. Most important, a vision for what Evansville can be. For what Evansville will be. So that working families and middle class families, that their paychecks can get a little bit bigger. That there's more jobs coming here. That there's more opportunity. That's what this is about, is that when we look at Joey and all of the kids and the young people, we look and go, we've turned over to you a better Evansville and a stronger Evansville, an Evansville that's building, and an Evansville that everybody wants to come to. That's what we're going to do. And one of the main reasons we're going to do this, and one of the moments in history, which is right now, is going to be because of this next woman I'm going to introduce. But you have to make a commitment to me. This isn't going to be one just here today. You have to knock on every single door. You have to turn out every single vote because of her common sense. She doesn't worry about this political issue or that political issue. She worries about making families stronger. So we have to be unified, everybody together, everybody working nonstop. And when we do that, I am going to introduce to you the next mayor of the city of Evansville, Gail Regan. I've been through a two-hour, what shall I, interview with the Meet Your Legislators, so hold it for you. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming. Can you all hear me? Yes. Is it close enough? Okay. Uh, it's been an exciting morning. It's been an exciting time since I finally decided what I wanted to do, and I appreciate all those who have given me their their insights and, their, and uh, their well wishes throughout this process. I welcome you here this morning and thank you for coming out. It's a cold morning, I understand it, because today I formally announce my candidacy for the mayor of the city of Atlanta. Let me take a few minutes to share with you why I want to be mayor, and then I want to talk a little bit about leadership, and then I want to talk about what my vision is for the city of Evansville. As a volunteer in my work experiences and during the time that I've spent representing District 77 and in the State House, I've addressed issues that have been very important to us locally, but also to the state. Whether it is issues that, that about the, the vul most vulnerable in our community, our elderly, or our children, whether it's making sure our families are safe and secure in their homes, whether it's supporting our neighborhood leaders who are fighting crime and vacant and abandoned houses and trash and debris in the yards and on the streets, I will work with you to find solutions. I know we can do better. Yeah. Yeah. We must be 
stop an environment where young people feel hope for a bright future here in Evansville and where there are jobs and good paying jobs. It is no secret that we have not done a successful job in Indiana or in Evansville training Hoosiers for the jobs right now or in the future. It shows in the statistics. Just this past week, Morton Marcus wrote in the Courier Press, in 2014, personal income in the U.S. rose to 4% here in Indiana, just under 3.1%. Indiana's median household income is considerably less than the national average. And we in Evansville, we are 3,000 less per household than the state average. What this says is that the supposed record-setting growth in Indiana reported by the state administration has, in reality, placed Hoosiers 44th out of 50 states in income growth. Frankly, too many families in Evansville, place, uh, too many families in Evansville struggle to afford the basic necessities of housing, child care, food, and health care. And I know we can do better. to and from our workplaces continues to be a challenge for those of us who don't have cars. Many of the roads we drive on in Evansville are in bad shape. Simply put, we have neglected the basic services and the basic needs of our citizens. Again, I say we can do better. And what about leadership? Leadership requires a demonstration of the discipline to choose what is needed over what is wanted, and to do so in a tax structure that we all can afford. But that is not where it stops. Leadership also requires planning for those needs and implementing those plans within fiscal constraints. It's about getting the job done and getting it done responsibly. The city's current executive leadership has drifted from one project to another apparently without the benefit of a cohesive plan and while clearly ignoring the city's fiscal constraints. It is no wonder that our city's public credit card is nearly maxed out without major infrastructure projects languish, languishing. But this doesn't need to be the direction we take. I offer new leadership, leadership that understands the concepts of planning, vetting these plans, and implementing these plans. I support the Med Center and the hotel and will provide the leadership that is needed to make these projects successful. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I appreciate, oh, I was on my tiptoe. <laughs> Too many failed projects incomplete and false information given to you and me only confirms the need for clear and confident leadership. I have the vision to move this city forward and not continue the downward spiral to mediocrity. Imagine a city that encourages our best and brightest to stay and develop new, new businesses here. Imagine a city with new renewed industrial job base, and imagine a city where business and education leaders develop innovative programs that prepare our young people for the jobs of the future. Imagine a city where all of our neighborhoods are safe and where all of, our, all of us can once again say, Evansville is a great place to raise our kids. And imagine Evansville where there is transparency, where we all feel a part of a bigger plan and can all work together in unity and focus on our goals. We can do better. This is my vision for Evansville and I know it's your vision as well. I can't promise that I know all the answers, but what I can promise is that I will get together the best ideas and the brightest people to find the answers for us in Evansville. My pledge to you is that I will work to make this vision a reality. When elected mayor of the city of Evansville, I will lead our city to a new era of prosperity 
in a transparent, inclusive, and fiscally sound way. And I will do it with your help and the help of all the citizens of Evansville. I humbly ask for your support as we begin a new and vibrant chapter in the history of this city. Our first step begins today. Together, we can move forward because together, we can do better. Thank you. Thank you. 